Glynis Fox, it's such a pleasure to be with you today here at the SCF. Thanks so much, Claudia. Glynis, can I ask you um, to talk about some of your work that you've done on a book uh, that the center has just published? Uh, so it, it turns out the author is your husband, Tom Reichlitz. Yes, Reichlitz. that's right. Yep. And so you've done the illustrations for this book. Can you talk a bit about the book, um, about your illustrations, and about your collaboration? Sure. It's called Canyris, the Divine Liar. And it is about this mythical priest king of Cyprus. So John traces the r roots of this character from the ancient Near East and um, how he traveled to Cyprus and was established, I think, as a way of talking about how ancient Greek music was influenced by Mesopotamian sources. So um, he's been working on this almost since I've known him, mm -hmm. so um, maybe 12 years. It's he. It's it's many books that have split off. So he has a some other book projects that were related to this. Mm -hmm. But wow, it's amazing. It's done. So we worked on it. The most illustrations I did for him were uh, when we had a fellowship at the Albright Institute in Jerusalem. So I spent a lot of time drawing Cypriot um, artifacts there but then we went um, after that to Cyprus and um, for, for example saw a Egyptian faience uh, cup in the museum and because we were could be there together we um, could see a, an interpretation of it that hadn't been made before that was um, the, the way the figure was um, shown in photographs was something completely else than we could see from the so that's an example of working directly together, you know, standing in front of an artifact and looking at it could make an illustration that changed an interpretation of an object for the argument in his book. That's a beautiful collaboration. Can you talk a little bit about the cover image for the book? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's a, a, um, a painting. The background is a painting I had done in Cyprus where I was for about three years. Uh, which started with a Fulbright. So I published a book there of paintings of archaeological sites, and that was one of them, Alasa, which is um, the interpreted as the ancient Bronze Age capital of Cyprus. Uh -huh. And so the, 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 fig the figure is a representation of Canyris taken from the Megiddo plaque that shows a procession uh, towards a figure in a throne, a king. Um, so this mus this um, musician figure, I took traits from the king on the throne and the lyre that he holds to make him the priest king of Cyprus. And he's standing on an ingot, which is um, the principal export of Cyprus, copper ingots. So that's where their wealth came from. And there's an ingot god that was found in the site of Enkemi in North Cyprus that is standing on an ingot, which I always thought was a funny image because it looks like he's surfing. <laughs> yeah. So he's surfing through the capital of Cyprus playing his lyre. Right. So I love that. I mean, one of the things that has come through to me about your work is this playfulness that you bring to it. So on the other hand, I mean, you're talking about really depicting these very careful details uh, that appear in the art. On the other hand, I love your playfulness. Um, why is that important to your approach? Well, I, because uh, life is funny, or it should be. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I really like working with very specific um, you know, examples, factual things, and making them, mm -hmm. giving them some kind of humor. So, Glynis, thank you so much. Um, I just want to let everyone know again about your website. Yes. Um, it's www.glynisfox.com.